The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Before I tell you where you can get corned pork like you've never seen before, of course, you know the story. I've been living in my van for the past few days, traveling around the island for street food. The night before, I had slept along the beach and woke this morning to rough seas. So I headed off before the tide could rise in the direction of a local water attraction. Finally here at Somerset Falls. I can't tell you how many times I have like drove past this place, but yeah, yeah, today is a very how can I say bipolar day. Like it's sunny, then it gets hot, then it's it's gloomy, but yeah, anyway. So to enter here you spend a thousand dollars if you're an adult resident and if you are from a foreign country you're spending 15 us dollars and if you're a child it's a lot cheaper it's like 500 jamaican dollars and i don't know the us equivalent but yeah that's that for the prices so what's going to happen now i'm going to head to where the location is where there's going to be a short little boat ride that will take you towards the falls for me this is a completely new experience as it might be for you if you've been here before and you enjoyed it do drop a comment and share your experience but uh yeah let's <laughs> take on the adventure today and for today for me it's more of a relaxed day i've been traveling up and down for the past couple days but today i'm just gonna chill a little bit and then probably somewhere around lunch or dinner time we are going to catch some lunch ah whoa all right guys have a little seat with me so um just to explain a little bit I realize that there's not much rushing water right now. I can assume that it's usually a lot more and you know more vibrant than this. But Jamaica, at this moment of filming, it is now March where we've been experiencing a drought. But somehow Portland still always manages to have some level of rainfall. So there is still water here. And um, yeah, the water is brick cold. So right now I'm actually waiting for this canoe, I believe, that's gonna come for me and um, yeah, take me to the waterfall. Yeah, you might realize that I threw my feet, my sneakers into the water. Yo, shout out to my friend Yevi. So I call these my Yevis because she got these for me probably like a year and a half ago. Um, one of those persons who always just checks my Amazon wish list and just see some cool stuff. And when people send some stuff for me that I like, these are Crocs. I actually rock with them and I've been using these whenever I've been, you know, traveling and you know, any situation that requires water. It's a lot better than the typical croc. It's more like a sneaker, it's lightweight, it's also waterproof. So, I, well, it's not waterproof, it's, it's a wet shoe, you get what I'm saying? So I'll drop the link in the description box to my Amazon wish list. also the link for these crocs here. So you guys can get one if you think. Um, I see a lot of the times that these attractions, they have these water shoes and whatever. They, trust me, they are not good. Probably after, three uses the toe area starts to stick out this like i said i've had this for almost two years and it's still going strong so shout out again to you yavi and to everyone that supports these videos and drop comments anyway waiting for the lifeguard to come and pick me up on the magic canoe bus
so we are on this little ride and this is amazing man it feels all apart from that it feels almost like romantic and just quiet so if you have your significant other you can definitely do that or if you just want to spend some time with yourself you know so we have the captain just rowing the boat in the back there and <laughs> wow did you guys see that that's fantastic yo wow so we are we are here yeah this is it. This is it. <laughs> we are here. Now, for the curious people who have been wondering where have I been taking a, you know, um, the honest truth is I haven't. I haven't in the past four days. And <laughs> that would be a lie. Of course I have. So what I've been doing is whenever I get to anywhere that's established, I will definitely use a bathroom there. So for example, when I got to Licoporti, I definitely use the facilities there. Now this morning I purposely did not take a shower because I was praying that anywhere that has a water park or any form of water usually has some way to take a shower. So I just checked this now and there is a shower there so I am definitely going to take my first shower for today and of course I am going to use the facilities. Now, of course, I always have the coldest bottle with me. You guys can check the link in the description box. I have a discount code and every bottle that you guys buy, I do get a kickback from it. Now, to answer that, usually in the night, I'm drinking water, some form of juice. And yeah, sometimes late at night, I just have to open the, the car door, step out. And yeah, the other part of the story, that's how I do it. Now, anyway, I'm going to go have my shower now. Um, I don't really think there's any food situation going on close here apart from little porty that is just over the road but yeah i'm not gonna go there again today i want to go do something different so there might be some other restaurant street food stop somewhere yeah anyway let's go bathe well me i'll see you guys after All right, now let's talk about this place really quickly. Now you can see that somewhere in the past, some money was definitely put into this place to make this, you know, have all these facilities and stuff. But yeah, you can see now where some money needs to be put back into it. Now, speaking of money, a lot of people sometimes watch the content and think that it might be too expensive for them, you know, taking a trip. Now, I bring this up because when we went to the falls, I met this lady and her son. They're from the US. And after we went to the falls, we came back, we were talking for a little bit, we are basically talking for the entire trip. Um, I saw them over there sitting down and they were having their lunch or brunch, whatever you want to call it. And she mentioned that she loves Aki's. I was so proud as a Jamaican to know that, yeah, she likes Aki's. So she was having some Aki and rice and her son was having some grilled chicken. And I thought to myself that, wow, 
you know a lot of people find creative ways to save a buck or two you know I can speak for myself as a Jamaican a lot of the times when we come to these places we want to you know spend the money on the food here which sometimes is going to be a bit more overpriced or we definitely are going to KFC or something like that now if you ever feel like you cannot afford to take a trip it just might mean that you need to save a little bit more and i'm not talking about a trip to bali or indonesia because those trips are probably way over a lot of our heads but i'm talking about little trips to places around jamaica that you have never been to before i always talk about the coldest bottle you know i have drinks in there i can save a buck or two where possible you don't really need a bottle to do that you can actually freeze your own drink the only setback is it won't be as cold for the entire day but you get what i'm saying these are small ways that you can save and you can come on amazing trips like these anyway i'm about to go spend some money right now because that's what i do i go to these street food stops so i'm actually All right, so literally three minutes away from Somerset Falls, I'm now at a restaurant. Well, it was formerly called Wap Dem Yummies. That's what I saw on Google Maps, but now it's a new ownership, which is called Big Biz. And it's small and quaint. I really like that. And you guys might be able to see or hear the ocean just right along me and the road is like just down below. Now, here's the cool thing. I went on the menu and I was just like, I'm really feeling for Jamaica's secondary national dish, which is fried chicken and rice and peas. But she was just like, yo, today we have something special for you, which is aki with corn pork and breadfruit. Now, you guys may know or may not know, aki and salt is Jamaica's national dish. However, they have a variation, which is aki with fried corn pork. I don't see that around much a lot. I normally do it for myself, but to have somebody do it for me today, that's going to be freaking amazing, man. So yeah, waiting for my food. Nice to the shade above me, getting a bit of sun, getting a lot of ocean breeze. Yeah, I'm quite excited at this stop today. Yes, one and a half. The food come fast. That is not always a good thing. Those who are smart to understand. I'm literally thinking of buying another plate of this it's so good like it's not the conventional look in a couple ways first of all I'm not accustomed to seeing this amount of uh, corn pork in the ackee any whatsoever I really love seeing the the chunks of it like that turns me on like me no say me I get meat with my ackee and i mean the looks of it some of us are more accustomed to like a little um a golden shade on the the corn pork because when it gets when it, you know when it gets fried kind of that crispiness i'm not getting a lot of that but i don't mind this version any whatsoever there's some parts that you do get that crispiness but it is just fantastic it's it's almost like a like a a pigtail 
with with Naki in, in in some weird way but i i mess with it bro like this is like amazing and what i like is it's what you expect but what you don't expect in a good way and i love that i love when people have their own little twist to things and can introduce you to like different ways of doing it and this this for me no jokes i said i wouldn't grade stuff but yeah 10 out of 10 recommend like this 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 is busting and i am gonna and like i am gonna order another plate i have to it's amazing man but question is it a is it a fried corn pork or just corn pork yeah what wanna call it you call it corn pork and aki got you that's all i wanted to know thank you yeah so it is a corn pork and aki it's not like a fried version like i'm accustomed to but Boom! Wicked! I messed up again. I let food lead me astray. And now it's way past five o'clock. With the sun setting to my back, and I have no clue where I'll be camping out tonight. However, I stopped off by a local supermarket to get a few things as I searched, and then I headed back to somewhere I had passed, which looked pretty good for the night. If you love this video, you're definitely gonna love this next one. But until next time, remember these three things love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember to keep the link.